My motion graphics. Yeah. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another My Motion Graphics tutorial. My name is Gustav Maia, and today I'm going to talk to you about the Sharp Box. Now, what is the Sharp Box? Well, you probably have seen me in previous tutorials creating a plane, adding some luminance to the plane, and positioning the plane around um, our objects or our scene in order to get that um, reflection caster so that our objects can have this cool reflection. Uh, and it's good to have the control, uh, the, a good control about where you're going to position um, your, 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 your plane right and the size of the plane and where is it and I actually have some really basic trick where I put the this plane inside the null object and then I rotate the, the, the null object to control the positioning in terms of rotation and uh, move the, the, the plane farther away from the null object or closer to get that distance um, and, there, and of course scale this, the, the plane and whatever but uh, you know I do this a lot of times and it kind of gets boring to do the same thing over and over again and you know time is money so so I decided to build this preset and therefore I don't need to do the same or repeat the same process over and over again it, it just makes my life easier and probably yours as well uh, now this is not a light preset or a light setup although you can use it as a light source it's not meant or it's not built uh, to, to, to be so um, but you know what let's stop with the chip chat and let's get started so here we are in Cinema 4D I'm using R15 and you should first install uh, the sharp box so I'm thinking that you've done that already and if you go into the content browser you'll see there's a folder called MMG sharp box Let's open that up and just bring this into the scene. Now, if you zoom out, you'll see that our sharp box is already there. And uh, what can we do with it? Okay, let's create just a, a simple sphere, just for demonstration purposes. And um, let's make a quick render and see what, what we have. Nothing. Great. So far, so good. We actually need to create a material. So let me just bring this up over here and create a material, add some reflection, go into the reflection and reduce the brightness to whatever you want. I'll leave it at maybe 70% or 66 so that you can clearly see what's happening. Uh, now I'm going to make this uh, render again and there you go. This is the reflection that I was talking about. Um, but it's a little bit um, distorted, yes, it's a little bit distorted, and that's due to the anti-aliasing. So go into your render settings, anti-aliasing, and change the anti-aliasing from geometry to best, right? And now if you make a render, you actually see, you can actually see that um, the edges are sharp. Great. Now let's go and check our commands in the sharp box. So uh, we have these visibility options over here. I'll talk th about that in a moment. But uh, then we have this position and you can actually move this uh, sharp box around and try to get the position that you would like. I would recommend that you use interactive render region um, to, to better um, improve your workflow. And then you can just rotate this uh, sharp box around and try to see where you want it to be. Uh, you can increase or decrease the distance. It will make the reflections look smaller if you decrease the distance and make this object, this sharp box, really close to your object, the reflection will look bigger. And you can tilt it, so from one side to another. Uh, you can change the size so on the X, on the Y, or you can use this little thing over here to help you out. I would recommend that you would use this first and then tweak it over here. Okay. 
and then you have this scale and this will proportionally scale the sharp box so over here you will change the proportion of it so uh, thinner larger and over here you'll keep the proportion just scale it up okay now you might notice that the sharp box doesn't appear on the render you won't see it on the render then that's the point you know that's uh, usually what you want uh, and this is um, this uh, is related to the visibility options over here so you can check scene by camera and then you will see it on the render uh, but most of the times I actually use it um, this option off so I don't want it to be seen by camera and you can you have this enabled and this will basically shut off Sharpbox it's like it doesn't even exist and you have this uh, scene by global illumination and but I'll talk about that in a minute and scene by reflection and scene by reflection is basically you shut it off again but then what's the difference between enabled and seen by reflection it has to do with global illumination now the sharp box it's not meant to be a, a light source there are actually better products than this um, for you to use around there but you can use it as a light source to do that let's come over here into our render settings and go into effect and add global illumination okay let's shut this off I'm not going to tweak anything right here uh, over here right now and with global illumination you can actually see that there is some lighting being uh, emitted by this uh, sharp box let me make uh, let me just take this off and directive render region off and let's uh, make this more obvious a little bit so just changing the size over here and there trying to make this a uh, little bit more obvious and I'm going to create a floor as well and just move the sphere a little bit upward so like so and make another render and there you go you have global illumination working and you have the light being cast by the sharp box over there so again it's not really meant to use it like this there are better ways to do um, uh, to use this kind of lighting setups there are better lighting setups because again this is not a light a lighting setup but you can use it as well and it works let me just bring the sphere again make another render from a different perspective maybe put this closer sorry about that by the way if you don't know sometimes I do this because this is the middle mouse button being pressed and I, I've had this question a um, couple of times on the comments that you leave and it's just middle mouse button and you can change from the top view to the right view uh, to the four views or to whatever view you want just over the mouse um, over the mouse on top of the view you want to zoom in and just middle mouse button click on it okay so where were we yes over here Let's make another render over here just to see how the sharp box illuminates this object over here. And obviously we're using global illumination so it usually takes a little bit. And there you go. Now um, let's go jump into another project which is this one. And this setup I have um, in this setup I have a camera. I have a text actually this is uh, two Motex together I have a camera and I have the Illuminati and the Illuminati is over here let me just show you uh, we're not going to talk about the Illuminati right now but if you don't know what it is it's an illumination setup that you can download in my motion graphics dot TV uh, and this is actually creating all this uh, this light over here this uh, cool soft shading over here this is uh, made by the Illuminati it's really fast so really powerful go ahead and download it don't forget to make the donation that is in fact really important okay so let's um, hide this from our viewports and hide the camera as well um, now how to work with the sharp box let's go into our content browser and bring the sharp box once again um, and over here 
over on this viewport over here, let's create, um, let's uh, check interactive render region so we can see uh, and, um, the changes we make in real time or almost real time, depending on your machine, of course. And one thing that is um, happening is that the interactive render region is not rendering our object using the Illuminati. But this is okay, actually it is really cool uh, and useful. I honestly don't know why this happens and I've had this question uh, a couple of times as well. Um, but the interactive render region doesn't work with the Illuminati. So if you want to use the Illuminati and make uh, changes and use this, it just doesn't work. But if you render this out over here, not using the interactive render region, but the render itself, the you can see that the Illuminati is still working. So I uh, hope that's clear. But anyway, right now I'm just going to position the sharp box using its con these controls over here and I honestly don't need the Illuminati right now so it will make my renders even faster so that's really cool so uh, on this project I already have this anti-aliasing set to best so I'm not gonna concern with that and all I want to do right now is just to position this uh, sharp box and here you can see clearly that there's already a reflection going on and all we have we have to do right now in order to get a nice decent reflection is to position this and tilt it and rotate it and tweaken this and it might take a little bit but you know it's the process so as you can see there is our reflection and right now I'm close to where I want to be I'm just rotating or tilting it a little bit, like so, like so, maybe a little bit more. And I will probably scale this on the Y over there. Let me just bring this uh, a little bit like so, so you can see what's happening. And if I increase the Y size, the size on the Y axis, you see that the reflection also grows. and this is a you know this is a process you just tweak the tweak here tweak there rotate a little bit over here rotate a little bit over there and right now i'm not using this and this anymore i'm just using the um, these values over here because i have more control on how it's going to look and it's looking pretty good maybe rotate it otherwise on a, to the other way yes okay now you can see that the reflection is over here exactly where I wanted. I can shut off interactive render region and render it like so. And now the Illuminati is working, we have the sharp box working and it looks pretty good. Now this is a simple example, but I hope um, it's worth it. So I guess that's it. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to click the like button, share it, subscribe if you haven't already. Keep those comments flowing and all that good stuff. My name is Gustavo Maia for mymotiongraphics.tv. I'll see you in another video. Until then, bye bye.